ladies, this is Jamie. So today I thought we would make these. They are little paper clips. And my inspiration came from, or well, I seen a lady on YouTube. Her name is Shell Ratchliff, the Ramblin' Crafter. Um, yeah, I seen her. I just newly subscribed to her, and she has a lot of cool ideas. So, I thought we would make some of these together. Am I in film focus here? Frame. <laughs> I couldn't find the right word. Um, so these are paper clips, too. But this one I just made with, uh, some rusted safety pins. Whoops. And that's what it looks like on the back. And I just used some, uh, Pictionary cards. Because that's what I had for the base. So, let's get started. So, I just took a regular Pictionary card, which is um, three inches long by two and a quarter, three inches by two and a quarter wide. And all I did was cut them at an inch. Well, probably an inch and a quarter. Yeah. An inch and a fourth. Is that right? And I just cut them like that. So I have a bunch here. And all I'm going to do is collage on them to cover up the, the writing and everything. So I thought we'd make a little, a couple of them. So let me get my scraps of paper out. And I'll be right back. Okay, so I got some scraps out. I got some music paper and grid paper and um, library and some uh, pattern paper. And I even have some um, pattern pattern paper. <laughs> uh, tissue pattern paper. So we might use some of that, and then I got a whole bag here of washi tape that we might use too. So let's just start ripping. Oh, let's see, do I have, I might have to grab another glue stick out. Okay, we have one ready in case we need it. So I'm just going to start slapping down some paper. I'm use some of this lined paper. You can do um a lot of different looks with with collaging. That's what I like about collaging. That and it's very relaxing. I also got some uh, coffee stain paper that I'd like to use. Put a little bit of that on. You could even wait to cut these until you're done doing your collage. You could just use a whole piece. 
and then cut down your um, your shape. I'll put that on the bottom. It's a quiet day here in northern Maine. So what I'm going to do now is just cut the excess off. And then we'll ink around the edges. Let it dry a little bit. And then we'll punch our holes. And you can use anywhere from jump rings to hold your pieces together to paper, uh, safety pins, string, wire, um, whatever you want to use to hang the bottom piece from the top. You'll see what I mean in a minute. So there's our two pieces. I'm going to do the rest and I will be back. Okay, I decided to do another one with you. <laughs> I'm so indecisive. Okay, let's see. We got some of this children's uh, writing paper. We got our AC on today because it's going to be in the 80s. <clears throat> so you might you might hear that in the background. I hope it doesn't bother anybody. Okay. 
So there's number two. All right, so this time I will go do the rest and I'll be back. Okay, so I got four done, um, and I got them collaged, and I wanted to put on a, uh, what would you call it, a focal point, I guess, or something to add interest. So I picked these out, and we'll glue them on there somehow. So let's glue them on. And they don't have to be on there straight. Make them kind of wonky. So I'll do that and I'll be right back. Okay, I got all the uh, words. I got hope, care, grace, and vintage. And I just stamped those on some coffee dyed paper. I seen that on um, Liz for a day. She calls it her project 20, where she sits down each day and makes 20 pieces of ephemera. So, uh, that's a good way to knock out some stuff to put in your in your journals. If you sit down each day and just you don't even have to do 20 pieces, just do what you can and um in a month you'll have a whole lot of ephemera to put in your journal. So I just have some little a little flower and a little uh, uh, flat back pearl to put on there and I got a diamond to put on hope what do we have if we don't have hope right we gotta have hope him up here we got a flower to put on each one I like the look look of it there so there's a little more interest on them. Alright, so what we'll do next is make our holes in each one. And then we'll figure out how we're going to hang them from, hang this part from the top part. And we can use some thread or jump rings or we'll find something to use. But let me get that stuff out, and I will be right back. Okay, let's punch some holes. You know, I should have put the uh, paper clips on before I put the stuff on the front. But lesson learned. <laughs> so I got my fancy, smancy, new crocodile. Um... I'm sure everybody has one of these, but I got the little uh, kit that comes with the uh, eyelets. I need to get some more eyelets, different sizes. I'm just not sure uh, what sizes to get. Okay, so what I do is so I get the holes even. I just take this and I fold it like this and try to get those even and then I'm just going to go for it and punch our holes
and then when you fold this piece back up you have your holes I'm probably one of the last people to get this proper doll. But uh, some art supplies can be expensive. And I'm not by any means rich. <laughs> What am I doing wrong? Try to get them somewhat even. There, got our holes punched. I don't think I'm gonna put eyelets in there because those ones I have are kind of big. So I'm just gonna leave those like that. All right. So the first two, I'm just going to string some uh, embroidery floss through. Oops, I got it all tangled up. And I'm just going to tie it in a knot. I left it long enough so that I could loop it around and tie it. And I'm going to try to get them as even as possible. Try is the key word here. So they'll hang a little bit like that. Okay. Oops. It's a little fumbly. So they will hang like that, and I'll just cut the excess off. And that one's ready for a paper clip on the back. So it'll hang down like that. We'll do another one like that. I don't think you guys need to watch that all over again. So I'll put you on pause for a second, and I'll be right back. These next two, I'm just going to loop through with a rusty safety pin. 
and all I'm going to do is put a, a uh, paper clip on the back. I'm running out of time, guys, and I don't want to do a two-parter, so sorry about that. Um, I wanted to show how I put the uh, paper clips on the back. I might have time. So you just take your paper clip and put it on a scrap piece of paper that will fit on the back and I glue the small side down and I just glue it on like that and hold it for a few seconds and then wham bam it's done so thank you guys so much for watching leave me a thumbs up if you like this video subscribe if you want to and I will talk to you soon bye